Hey everybody, we yeah. uh, did a video a while ago where we wrote and recorded 100 riffs in a day mm -hmm. just for fun, and last season of Sonic Boom, we finished one, turned it into a whole song, yeah. and we're gonna do the same thing today. We're getting a lot of material out of these 100 riffs that you wrote. Yeah, we'll be 99 <laughs> seasons in this Sonic Boom before yeah, we run yeah. out. Uh -huh. All right, so let's listen to what we uh, are working with. This was voted in by um, you guys, yeah. by the way. What's the story we're telling here? I mean, we're at a saloon at dusk. Could it be an instrumental though? Do you think so? I don't know. Like, is, is this just setting the scene for a, hmm. a Western? I feel like it needs some talking. Head into the saloon at dusk. Rollerbladed all the way here. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay, we have the slide whistle. We can turn that into like a the call that like movies always use yeah. from a bird that's not actually that's a not loon. part of yeah yeah yeah, the, yeah, loon yeah. Sound. Well, the, the loon is not uh, native to the uh, oh. area. Well, shall we go to the saloon? Let's go. All right, welcome <laughs> to Sonic Boom. I'm feeling thirsty, and the sun's going down, Andrew. Where what should you, we go? What are you drinking tonight? Straight Malort. Malort. <laughs> yeah, I like to get uh, just water. I like the one with the worm in it. I gotta dial in some tremolo here. I don't have a tremolo with me, but I should have- we, Should we get the potato back out? <laughs> we should get the potato! <laughs> no, I was gonna say though, I've got my own pedal where oh. I can I can make it into a tremolo. Oh, you can, because of how versatile it is? Oh, yeah. It's called Ghost BT Dubs. Ooh, yeah, it's nice. got like some modulation, you know? You can apply to the volume. End of a long day. Took my horse to the saloon. What's the tremolo rate? Very important question. I think you should stay to the original. That feels like it's it's in the world. We're getting western. You're a little bit east right now. Yeah, now we're now we're in a western. Started off like in Boston. We want to go a little <laughs> bit more west. Give me a rye whiskey. Sure that's what I did. Oh, I got an idea. At, later in the song, this feels like a part that we could repeat. Yeah. And kind of build up. Yeah. Three, four times. Okay. Oh, okay, wait. If we, for the singy part of the song, it's more like. Palm muty. Mm. We'll add a plate reverb or something later. Would a Western use plate reverb or spring reverb? I think they'd use a plug-in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the saloon definitely has a neural DSP in the back. <laughs> yeah, there's a full lineup of quad cortexes. I don't think a saloon would have a full-on real plate reverb, but they'd have a spring <laughs> they reverb. They could have a spring. Yeah, oh, for sure. Or just, uh, you know, the natural ambiance. So this, um, the, the main riff that we started with, I think it's sort of like an instrumental chorus type thing. It's like a, an interlude between every yeah. verse. And then we have. It's really like chill and vibey. Let's maybe do the this part twice and build it as we lead into the first singing section. Yeah, maybe this is like heavier. But I don't know, I'm wondering if it's too long to be like riffs, verse, riff, verse. To me, it sounds like a pretty simple like intro, main riff, verse, main riff, verse, main riff. Yeah. Keeping that 12 bar in there. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, it keep it simple. simple. To me. Yeah. yeah. Unless you want to add a solo in there, but. Well, I think we would solo over the second time this riff yeah. happens. Or maybe it's one of those things where like, you solo in between your lines, like, I've been gone. Yeah. Ba -na 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 yeah, yeah. My brain goes straight to saloon at dusk. It's just a drink order. Yeah. Give me a like, rye whiskey. What I'm thinking is, what would Tom wait to do, you know? Mm -hmm. Where, Cause he can get kind of like, it almost feels novelty, but it's mm -hmm. never, it's, it's still like a sick, serious song. Yeah, I don't want it to be a joke. Yeah, it's too good of a vibe yeah. for that. Yeah. Should we just try and track? Last one. Or 
could it be even like a... Oh, it kind of leaves the story open. Is that Western or is that James Bond? <laughs> and I'm also learning some new fun, like... This chord, when I... Yeah. Just get a little rub in there for that part. <laughs> a little, little rub. <laughs> <laughs> Wacky chord. Uh, I got off the click. Yeah, I was kind of speeding up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to up the click a bit, or are we feeling like... I, I like it. I like okay. it slow. Unless you're... Yeah. It, again, it's your riff. No, no, I mean... It, it was feeling good before. I'm just yeah. I'm I think we just need guessing. to rain rain our excitement back. Yeah, we need to make it saucy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Swampy. Yeah, yeah swampy. This All is the right. saloon at dusk. Yeah. This isn't the saloon at noon. Nice, okay. So we got upright, upright bass. bass. We wanna do some like lead fill things. Maybe. Do you wanna play some acoustic? Ooh, uh, I would love to get on the. Get the resonator going? Yeah. Yeah. And just add some, maybe that's where I do the solo -y stuff. Oh, it's time for a break. Hey, if you play or record instruments, you might be interested in today's sponsor, Vidami. This is a three-in-one controller that could make your practice and recording sessions much smoother. So for practicing, Vidami gives you hands-free control of videos. So you can play and pause, navigate backward and forward. You can slow down videos to a variety of different speeds. And it's also easy to make it loop a certain section of a video that you might be practicing or transcribing. You can do this with YouTube as well as over 70 other online platforms. And with the free Vidami Control Center software, you can also do it with any MP3s and MP4s on your computer, and you can customize your speed control presets. The next mode is really simple. It just allows you to turn or scroll pages in lots of different music notation and guitar tab software, as well as just any old PDF. And the third mode lets you control your DAW. So you can play, stop, arm recording, move the playhead around, and depending on your DAW, there are lots of other shortcuts you can set up as well. So if you've been finding yourself losing your flow during certain tasks because you're trying to manage your instrument and your keyboard and mouse at the same time, check out Vidami Blue at the link in the video description. It might save you some time and frustration and make your practicing and recording process easier. Now back to Sonic Boom. That's a vibe. Yeah, I mean, just right here. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think about like the uh, on the riff? Do I play along with the guitar for that, or just? I let... think the guitar is on its own. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that part blank too. And then like anything else, like while that chord's ringing out in the riff, does the bass like walk a bit? I I think it doesn't walk. I think it just stays simple. I think we're just putting a, a bed for the guitar. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have to play differently with a slide? Yeah, it's quite a bit different. And and I'm used to playing with my ring finger too, so playing with my pinky is a little awkward. I mean, you're trying to find the same notes, you're just, you're just not sure if you want to be there. All right, and I've got here to the end. We're good. <laughs> Woo, okay. Excited to hear what Rob came up with on Resonator and- You played Luigi's Mansion? I kind of want to try some electric guitar in here. I really got to write lyrics though. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. Perfect, yeah, but yeah. what am I sitting on here? <laughs> All right, I think I'm just gonna start gonna go going. A lot of the verses too are just improvised, so yeah. I'll just do, I'm gonna do a lot of punches, I think. Oh, can you punch me in there? I'm not missing the string. This is the part of writing where I'm just like, rhyme dictionary, thesaurus, rhyming dictionary, thesaurus. I, ca I came up with this line that's like, I'll reach out to haunt you from the bottom of the swamp. So it, it's like a warning song. Like, if you take me out, watch out, cause I'm coming back for you <laughs> in the afterlife. Slide 
slide's fun. It's so wibbly wobbly. I just wanna slide with you. I just wanna slide with you. Does this sound like a loon? What does a loon sound like? Yeah, that's it. Well, that certainly went in my ears. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty tough to get. Hey. Yeah. Hey. hey. Could I record a loon real quick? Every episode just comes back to me playing slide whistle. <laughs> it's, it's featured in way more songs than it ever should have here. Born to be a loon, no big deal. Do you want a click? <laughs> Loons don't stick to a click. I'm Canadian, that sounds like a loon. At least the loon that we listen to, I'm sure that, I love that. different loons take different creative liberties, but that's so, the... So that loon's in E minor. Yeah. I'm gonna need a little more time with the lyrics, but yeah. um, I'm loving it. The direction is, I am someone who has, I've drunk an elixir or something mm, that okay. makes me, like, I know that I'm gonna come back after I'm dead as a powerful ghost. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's a warning. It's like, oh, you can wow. kill so me if is, you want to, so but I'm gonna spooky. haunt you every night. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. I like the spooky vibes. So We're going I'm after just... Monster Mash again? Oh yeah. Yeah, let's do <laughs> well, it. Well, I don't know if this is gonna be like you dance to it at Halloween. I like the idea of going to like the right saloon in the right place. A certain time of day, if you're the customer, this is what you get. And you know what to order? You can get the stuff that makes you immortal. Yeah, what would you do if you were immortal? If I were immortal. What would I do? I mean, I'd have a lot of time on my hands for activities, self-improvement, being in a house band. I'd start crafting. Just trying to rhyme gone with something drink related. Don Perignon. <laughs> <laughs> Champagne. That's the Olympic. Totally yeah. fits. <laughs> or, or is it like Bond? Like I made a deal with Ooh. the mm. devil. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. In um, the Bible, there's someone called Abaddon. We are looking at how to pronounce this Hebrew term, which appears in the Bible as both a place of destruction and an archangel of the abyss. Perfect. How do you go about pronouncing it? <laughs> Just Abaddon. love his dawn. Abaddon. Abaddon. But like, Sounds I kind of like want to sample that little part where yeah. he's like, Destruction. Yeah. You could float Ooh, that in would, there, yeah. is that a fun I'm, idea? I'm into that. When I'm gone, honey, I'm not really gone. When I'm gone, when I'm gone honey. I'm gonna try it up there. I'm not really gone. Mm, I drank the poison chalice served by Abaddon. It's a nice good. piece of writing. Pretty good. Hey. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm just trying to find like the right energy and like right to the end of the lines, trying to keep the uh, intensity. Maybe go up just for the last one. I'm gone. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're losing it. Yeah. I'll just get mad. So if you're the one to take me. It won't be the last you face me when I'm gone. Mm -hmm. Wow. When I'm gone, no, oh, no. Woo. I do feel like um, as I'm hearing it with the doing these takes, the riff section needs a little more. Ooh, do we want to put like Mando on top of it? Like, oh, we could go to yeah, more bluegrassy twang instruments. Oh, banjo, dude. Maybe it's just banjo like plucking along, or we just fill it up with loon sounds. Yeah, I think just the last instrumental section, I'll try and get a solo in there. It feels like it wants that. Yeah, yeah, I like that. thing for the verse on the banjo. Okay. It's, it's very, uh, um, I put a spell on you. Oh, I love that. Let's throw the banjo down. We'll throw some roads down. We'll have everything. Cool. A little bit of editing later, but yeah. 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 Okay. It's got gonna, that yeah, range. Yeah. yeah. Let's record yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> I think my favorite part that I added is just those simple banjo chords in the verse. I love it, yeah. I love the slide. The slide, oh, yeah. I think, 
just thickens it all up and it puts it into the space. It takes it yeah. to the saloon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because the riff is like, oh yeah, that's a saloon riff. But the mm -hmm. slide is like, that's a saloon sound. Yeah. From top. Let's give it a listen. A spicy haunted house. Yeah. Well, I think that's gone. That is gone. It's, it's on gone streaming. On and, streaming uh, services. Or it's there. It's somewhere. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's not gone. It is. It is there. It is very gone. Much. But it's not gone from streaming yeah. services. It's there right now. <laughs> I lost track of where it is. <laughs> but uh, that'll be linked in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching, Blue. everybody. We'll see, see you later. later. A few of them, actually. I see them all the time. Yeah.